One of the most significant parts of the Neustadt's collection is a vast treasure trove of materials, sheet glass and glass jewels, that remained when the Tiffany Studios closed in the 1930s. Now, Tiffany's career had extended over a 50-year period, but by the teens following World War I, and certainly by the 20s and early 30s following the Great Depression, the showy designs of the Gilded Age were no longer fashionable, and modernism was the preferred design aesthetic. With no foothold in the market, the Tiffany Studios closed, and all of the artwork that was still on the shelves, lamps, desk sets, even stained glass windows, were auctioned off to the public. The materials used to create those objects, specifically the glass that you see before you, was sold to someone in the trade, a stained glass fabricator. The cache of glass was sold two more times over the course of the ensuing years, until Dr. Neustadt in 1967 heard of the glass and went to investigate. He recognized the historic value of the glass, as well as its potential monetary value if people were to try to make forgeries, and so he purchased it and safeguarded it over the next few decades. He began to organize, classify, and categorize the glass, work which we have continued to do. The collection includes more than a quarter of a million different pieces of glass, of all shapes, colors, and sizes. It is the only known collection like it in the world. It is this cache of precious material that allows us to fully explore Tiffany's legacy of painting with color and light, giving us unique insights into the possibilities of glass selection, the nuances of expression in each of these marvelous objects.